Welcome back, heroes, to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode, we almost finished Battle City, had an epic duel with Kaiba, probably the best duel of the series so far. I recommend checking the last duel of last episode out because um, it was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, I'm not going to spoil anything, but we got super close and Kaiba kind of cheated a little bit. But now we're going to do the final face-off. Yu-Gi-Oh! vs. Marek of Battle City, let's do this. So the time had come for the final face-off. Yugi vs. Merrick with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Soon your infinite power will be mine. Merrick, not only will I defeat you, I'll free you from the darkness that controls you. <laughs> now that I'd like to see. Oh dude, I would love to see that. Ooh. Cerulean Secret Phoenix of Nephews? Kinda looks sick. Ah, oh, sucks. Come on, let me go second. Cool! No, I see go second. Damn it. <laughs> I kind of remember Marek's deck having a few Pearson monsters. Oh wow, we got all three knights, but I don't think we have an Arcana Knight Joker. Just start piling that sucks. <laughs> oh dude, that really sucks. Um, right, let's set this. Yeah, I remember like a lot of his monsters do piercing damage, I think. Either way, this could be a good hand. All we gotta do is flip Queen's Knight, summon King's Knight, and then get a Jack's Knight, and we're good. And he can't beat my Queen's Knight, so that's actually not bad at all. I just really wish we had our King of Knight Joker, because if we draw Polly next, I'm gonna be so, so upset. Oh, okay, free back row. I ain't scared. I'm just a lot scared. Another Queen's Knight, okay, so let's switch to attack, summon King's Knight. And I guess we don't have a another Jack Knight in the deck. We have one Jack Knight in our hand. That that's super annoying. Either way, I'd have to uh, attack anyway, so it's all good. And another one thousand five hundred. Oh, oh, Metal Reflex Slime. 3,000 defense, okay, uh, yeah, let's, got it, got it in our turn. That's so unfortunate, we only play one Jax Knight, it's in our hand. Okay, he can't, oh, he's going to tribute it, for, I recognize this card a lot, like, uh, okay, take me out, what does it do? Cannot be special summoned from the graveyard of this card was destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. This effect activates at the at the end of each of your opponent's battle phase. It's discard one random card from your opponent's hand. This card must be in the graveyard to activate the activate and to resolve this effect. Okay, um I am thinking Let's set this Switch a defense. Activate card destruction. Right. Uh, we will then activate swords. Activate soul take. I think. Yeah, it does count good. Remember, like, uh, Odeon's trap cards still count as trap cards and not uh, monsters. And we can't have an exchange, got nothing in hand, and that will do. Alright. So hold us out for a few turns, draw a few cards. If I can try and get his Winged Dragon Rod, that's what I remember. It doesn't do piercing damage if it attacks your opponent directly. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I think I remember in, um, what's his name, Cyrus from GX, his, uh, his draw monster, I think Drawroid, it can do piercing damage. Yeah, it doesn't return to under science, but I think that's Grand Mole I'm thinking of. Uh, right, so, I probably should keep this, right, let's wait another turn. If I can draw a Dark Magician or get, like, a Monster Reborn, that'd be great. Monsters 
Cannot attack the turn they're summoned. That's kind of annoying. Right, red eyes. Don't want our red eyes. Just got to end turn. Oh, dude, this duel is... Oh, what a greed. Nice. Actually pretty tough. Okay. Full back row. A little scary. Mirror Force, nice. All right, so let's set this. Uh, I'm gonna have to just get Red Eyes out. Come on, let's go Red Eyes. And... Oh, I can't have the turn of summon, can I? Because that's a stupid thing. Oh, that sucks. Alright, it's fine. At least he can't... Well, he can still attack me directly with that stupid jaw dude. But I can mirror force, get rid of these two. But if he puts one on defense, I'm not going to do it. And black pendant. Okay. Yep. See you later. Please don't have, like... I don't know. Be good. So I'm going to say something. They can just stop a trap card. face down. Okay. Man, Merrick is a bit scary. Ooh, um, I remember this. Wasn't this like in Dollars Pack Kyber? I feel like I remember pulling this like years ago. Anyway, special summon one Metal Fiend token. Uh, cannot attack your opponent. I cannot attack. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving it. Once per turn during your summer phase, you pay a thousand life points or destroy this token. Uh, you got no monsters, so... No point using it just yet. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. Okay. Um... Have to end. I want to use Exchange, but I don't want to give him Magic Formula. I don't want to give him Fiend Sanctuary. Oh, dude, that sucks. Oh, we can still beat it though, which is great. Oh, another Fiend Sanctuary, seriously? Uh, right. Let's just take this out. I'm trying to think like what we could actually really What we could do. That metal slime is actually stopping us from doing a lot of things. If I draw like Slifer, I think Obelisk might be another our deck as well. I could just special summon these two. Can I tribute them? I must be able to. Then tribute all three. I just gotta set and end. Or oh, maybe I can just go ex for exchange, and maybe he'll have Ra in his hand. Honestly, I cannot remember the, the effect of Ra. I think, isn't it like attack damage equal to the attack of the free cards you tribute for it? So, I mean, if we tribute these, you've got zero attack, it's not going to be great, is it? But, that could be fine. Um, nope, don't want to do that. Let's set this. Set this. I'm gonna wait one more turn. Just think, I'm just worried that I trade off magic formula and then I draw Dark Magician. We draw Dark Magician, we can get over that metal metal slime dude. He can't do anything to me, which is great. Might play. Okay, that's perfect. So let's set this. Now let's use exchange. What do you have I can take, dude? You oh you have Monster Reborn as well. I kinda wanna take. Oh you pay life points so that you can only have a hundred left. This card gains attack and defense equal to the amount of life points paid. 
appear a thousand life points on one monster on the field, destroy that target. Okay. I kind of want to take Ra, but I think the smart thing is to take Monster Reborn, 100%. And then we activate Monster Reborn. Get the Dark Magician. Can't attack just yet because the uh, stupid. Wait, is it just normal summon or is it special summon? I oh, just a summon in general, okay. Uh, magic formula. Was a free five, and then we end our turn. If we had like a stop defense in our deck or something, that'd be so good to put the slime in attack mode. We can finally get over it. Just hoping one of his face downs is not, not like mirror force or something, because that would really suck. We have like free field uh, fiend sanctuaries, dude. All right, here we go. Risking it for the biscuit. Please don't activate anything. Yes. Okay. We win in this. Oh, Merrick sucks to be you. Kind of that that exchange was so clutch. Taking Monster Reborn. It was the right thing to do. Like I really wanted Gra just to summon Ra, but oh no, that could be bad. That could be bad. Uh, is he gonna activate it? Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> That's me. Okay. Monster reborn. Get this dude back. And target pro. Yeah, Dark Magician. Great. I swear, if he's got like another metal slime thing to to stop me from getting over it, I'm gonna be annoyed. I am going to summon this. And we'll just get over this with... Oh, I can't do that. Right, we can do what? Four... Is this third? exactly 4,100? I think it is. Oh no, you do have another Meryl Flex Slime. You suck, Merrick. Seriously, dude. I think now all I'll do is just, I've just got a, I've got enough for like Slife or Obelisk, just wait till I draw that. That's all I can do. Oh, wait. Uh, Total monster you, you control, tribute that. Uh, special monster, special cast from your hand, then you destroy, can I, I still need a spell cast on my hand. Uh, I, I, I draw a spell caster. I can... Get rid of that slime. Okay, just gotta play the waiting game now. But it seems like Marek's kind of bricked, he can't do anything. So, oh, this should work, right? It does. Alright, game over. I'm taking this bad boy. <laughs> Alright, let's put you to attack. And let's win. Beta, finish him off. Yes, we won. Oh my god, Merrick, you are so annoying. <laughs> Got there in the end. Master Merrick. Brother, please tell me you're alright. Merrick is over. Your evil side has been banished forever. It's finally over, my pharaoh. Yes, and the darkness has lifted from your heart. Merrick has overpowered the evil that controlled him for so long. My pharaoh, thank you. You saved mankind. We did. Um... Kinda. Wouldn't have been uh, victorious had it not been for all of you. Pharaoh, rest assured that everyone who has vanished to the Shadow Realm by my dark side will return. Thank you. I have one more task to perform before my Tomb's Keeper's mission is complete. Witness the secret to the Pharaoh's power inscribed on my back. These markings were passed down by my family from generation to generation for 5,000 years. We were taught that when the ancient Pharaoh saved the world from destruction, he wiped his own memory clean. But he knew that someday he would return and he'd need his memory back. So he entrusted one family with his greatest secret, the key to unlocking his mind and his power. Now that you hold the three Egyptian god cards and the Millennium Puzzle, all you need to do is read the words on Marek's back. You're so close. 
It's time for us to leave now, Pharaoh. So please take this. The Millennium Rod belongs with you where it won't cause any more harm. Thank you. And take this as well. The Millennium Ring is safest with you. With Yugi now possessing all the Millennium items and the three Egyptian God cards, you can now make sure that the Shadow Games would never return. Oh! If only. Until season... I think this would be season 4, right? So I think you, they skipped a whole arc of um, when they go inside the virtual world and they get the, the cool like uh, dual monsters like Avatar I think it is. Like Teo gets Dark Magician Girl, I think Joe gets Flame Swordsman, I think Tristan loses his duel, turns into like a robot monkey. It's quite funny. Anyway, so after Yugi Moto's victory over Merrick, Yugi collected all three Egyptian God cards. However, it would not remain in his possession for long. Panic ensured as real monsters appeared all over the world. Worse still, Yugi's Egyptian god cards were stolen by three unknown assailants. No, how can this even have happened? Grandpa, are you alright? Yugi, they're gone! Who's gone, Grandpa? Your cards! Your strongest cards! The god cards? Who did this? Yugi and his friends were at a loss on who could have stolen the cards when a package arrived in the mail. Hey kids, this came in the mail. Who's it from? I'm not sure. My side's not what it used to be. Let's see here. From the office of Maximilian Pegasus. No, not Pegasus! What should we do? We should hear what he has to say. After all, Pegasus did invent dual monsters. You think he has something to do with what's been going on? Perhaps. Let's play the tape. Greetings, Yugi boy. I'm sure you're aware that dual monsters are suddenly running amok all around this world of ours. I know who's really behind this. The only catch is, it's too risky to leave you any information on this tape. So that means you'll have to come see me in person. Say what? There's no way we can trust that guy. What do you think, Yugi? Let's go. Pegasus may be our only hope. That's true. Alright then, I'm going. Then I'll be right there by your side, pal. Count me in too. Me too. He's flying us there first class, right? Thanks, guys. Back in the ancient lair, the three card robbers, Raphael, Alistair, and Valon, meet with their master, Darts. Now, I remember um, Raphael, because he's the guy that beat Yugi, isn't he? But we locate the Pharaoh, Master. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture his soul. But I never come back empty handed. I present these cards to you. Excellent, the Egyptian god cards. At long last, I finally possess the supreme force necessary to awaken the great beast. The time has arrived, my friends. Finally, after 10,000 years, the great Leviathan shall arise again. He yeah, doesn't he get like, the snake card with like infinite attack and then Yugi like summons something with infinite attack as well, then like a big loop comes and I think he decks out or something? But once I replenish you with enough souls, you shall inherit the strength to swallow the earth. No one will stop us. No one. I'll find the pharaoh in this time. I'll make sure we drain his power to feed the great beast, sir. Why don't you try listening? It really is a wonderful skill. If you master it, you realise that we need more than the pharaoh's soul. Then we'll deal with the others too. I'll take Kaiba. I also got my eye on someone. That feisty little bloke, Joey Wheeler. It should be fun to take a part. The pharaoh and his friends are on their way back to speak with the one we've been watching. Just make sure that you reach him before they do. Pegasus? And to think I called you a bad listener. Now go see Pegasus at once. When Yugi and his friends arrived at the Industrial Illusions, they were not greeted by Pegasus, but rather another familiar face. Don't they kill Pegasus or something? Hello, Pegasus! The place is completely empty. I suspect the thieves that were after Pegasus may have already found him. If that's the case, I'm sure they're expecting us. My, is that you? I'm not my. At least not the my you know. My looks so badass now. What? You heard me? Alright, gang. Say hello to Pegasus. Oh, a uh, question? Did you do that to him? Look, you better start talking. What's the matter, Wheeler? <laughs> Did your little reunion with Mai not go as well as you expected it to? And you? Why are you keeping these guys all for yourself, Mai? Mind your own business, you lackey. These geeks are mine, so deal with it. Look, geeks? Wait, but your friend's Mai. Please, Mai, tell me this is all a joke. You're on our side, remember? I was never a part of your little playgroup, and now I'm going to break you apart one by one. And Wheeler, I'm starting with you. You're holding me back from achieving true power. So say hello to my real friend, the Seal of Orichalcos. Oh no, not this. My, let's talk. There's got to be another way to settle this. Sorry, hun. Whoever loses this duel, loses their soul. Ooh. Like, I don't remember much from this season. Like, I, all I really remember is, I think Kaiba has like a blue eyes jet, fights that uh, dude with the goggles, not goggles, the other guy, beats him, like destroys him, and then uh, 
Yugi loses a duel. Joey sacrifices himself and then the infinite attack. That's all I really remember. And I think the season after this is when um, they go inside the... They go back in time or something, don't they? It's like Egyptian times. It was so long ago, man. Like, I think over 20 years ago, surely. Almost 20 years at least. Right, so what are we doing? We're obviously activating Pot of Greed first. This spell card, very complex, allows me to drop, uh, draw two cards from my deck. Ooh, a blue Flame Swordsman. Right, so... Uh, we should... If we activate Marauding Captain... Activate the effect... Special summon this dude. And then... If you want to control at least two or more monsters than you do, special summon this card. Okay. Right. Battle phase. I don't think you'll have anything that can beat this. Nice. Oh, Cyber Harpy Lady. I remember this now. Okay. Main phase two was set skull dice and then end our turn. Having two copycats actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, I can't complain about that. Alright, one face down, okay. And that's it? Oh. Please don't be something too scary. Can't really. Should I just. Yeah, let's just summon him. Be 4k damage if we can get this off, so. That'll be good. Nice, and 1800. Feel bad for my. Like we're about to win. I don't think it's like anything she could really do. She just like pops off for like I don't know. No, ain't, yeah. Cool. And we gonna win. Uh. Yeah, it's just attack. It's gonna use monster reborn, but it's like no point because only two thousand angel life points left. And let's win for the easiest win ever. <laughs> wow, that was easy, Mai. Didn't even get to activate Silver Calcos. I can't lose. I can't go back there. I gave up everything just to be a winner. Hey, Mai. Can't lose. Won't go back there. I have to win. Oh well, she lost it, Valon. What are you doing? This fragment of the Oracalco stone? I unlock the seal. Joey, are you alright? Joey! What are you thinking, Valon? You betrayed Master Darts and risked your own soul. You mean to tell me you did all that just so you could save some girl, Valon? She's not just some girl. Where's Mai? Did those punks take her? Guess so. Yeah, she's gone. Oh no, so close. I'll get you back, Mai. Hey. <laughs> Love that sound. Yeah, this is the duel I remember. Alright, so as monsters appear all over the city, the public accused Kyber and Kyber Corp for these monster sightings. I think someone's trying to make a fool out of me. I've worked too hard repairing the reputation of this company. This has to stop. Seto, check out our database. There's someone out there that's buying up every share of our company. Mukaba, you're right. If these numbers are accurate, almost half of Kyber Corp was just bought by one person, and they're still buying. But how can that be? What are we going to do? We have to stop them. If they buy any more shares, they can take control of the entire company. Wait, there's only one person who's capable of something like this. Pegasus. Instead of Kyber and Mokobo were to Doorless Kingdom to confront Pegasus. Show yourself, Pegasus. <laughs> Your lack of patience never fails to amuse me. You're as irritating as ever. What's the deal, Pegasus? I just haven't been myself lately, in fact. I mean, that quite literally. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Surprise! <laughs> I've waited for this day a long time, Kyber boy. Oh, I think I remember now. Isn't, like, this dude kind of, like, related to Kyber? Or, like, an orphan in the same orphanage as Kyber or something? Identify yourself. Alice is the name, Kyber boy. Now let's duel. This spell card is about to change everything. 
Activating the seal of Orichalcos. What's that? Explain yourself now. We're trapped in here until the door's over. Then, once I crush you, I'll be able to get out. Of course you, on the other hand, won't be quite as lucky as myself, Kaiba boy. What do you mean? When you lose, your soul will be locked away for all eternity. Let my brother out. You have no idea who you're messing with. Sure I do. You're messing with a greedy little punk who's just as pathetic as his old man. What did you just say to me? No one compares me to my stepfather and gets away with it. He is a worthless snake. Like you. My family business has nothing to do with you. Guess again. Your family business has everything to do with me. It was seven years ago today, a day I'll never forget. The tanks came and took my brother. I soon found out who was responsible. Gozu... Gozabura? Oh yeah, Gozabura, Kaiba. Your father did this to me. Now you run his evil empire, so it's your fault too. Yeah, the sins of our fathers, man. Alright, let's get this done. You're about to get absolutely wrecked, Alistair. Right, let's go for Rock. Oh, okay. And we are going second. Hey, I'm okay with that. This is not the greatest. Set the seal straight away, of course. I honestly don't remember what your deck is about. Uh, okay, um, great. I guess we set this. So we can get a trap card. I'm assuming we likely have crush card virus. Because Crush Card works with like all four of our monsters. And Crush Card would really come in handy here. Because we about to take some damage. It, Crush Card would have been good, but your ability, great. Uh, to the end of your next turn. Right. So I can then activate this again because he can't. Insta kill it. That's annoying. Oh, dude. That stupid effect. <laughs> Just instantly kill my cat. It's actually quite tough this duel already. Getting wrecked. Yeah, let's get a crush card. Maybe I'll monster reborn of his monsters as well and call the haunted one of ours. Well, I probably like Zagi. I think. We have to go in, like, our next turn, not this turn, next one after. Right, so if we just summon Soggy, set this, set this, alright, let's go. Please summon a monster, please summon a monster. A oh, okay, that's not going to destroy it though, which kind of sucks. Oh, it does get destroyed, okay, good. Well, that was actually pretty sick. He's got nothing left. Alright, let's go in with attacks. Another soul exchange, great. Uh, summon this, I guess. Can I monster reborn? Like, it looked like I had a big boss monster I could probably get. So, Junior Face puts on one engine token. Okay. I can have this card again. I found sent to the end phase. During the end phase, it's, 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 this effect of this card was used to destroy this card. So, I'm not gonna. Oh, all three of them are gone. I'm not going to use the effect, I just want to keep you on the field. Wait, does it have to use it? Doesn't say I, you can, I think I have to summon the effect. But either way, we'll just do some massive damage right now. Uh, I don't think I've got anything in the, the grave that I really want to use, so let's just... Uh, 
Oh, no, you know. Yeah, I think it's if you use the 1,000 plus attack effect, that's when it gets destroyed. So I think we're good. Oh, you won't take damage because of Crush Card. That's annoying. Alright, it's fine. Okay. We'll activate the 1,000 plus attack when we're going to win. Oh, this is good. Oh, Judge Man. Nice. Bad token. Uh, so this is 3k, 5k, 5-6. I think we can win. No, the most damage we can do just over 6k. So wait. And we can. Uh, could have. Oh uh, yeah, we we couldn't have won this turn. Could we have? Wait. 1,200. Uh, 3,400. 4,400, 6,000, 7,000, I think we could have won? No, I think we would have fallen a little bit short. Yeah, because we another 600 damage. Yeah, I would have left you on 1,800 life points. Yeah, just a little bit short, but it's all good. Fiend token, what engine token? All good. Yeah, I do not remember Alistair's deck at all. Oh, one face down. Crush card really, really destroyed him. Feel kind of bad. And there's Crush card again. <laughs> Let's just win. Please don't have like Mirror Force or something, that would suck. Hey! Easy peasy. After the duel with Alistair, Kaiba went to Pegasus's company, Industrial Illusions, to look for answers. There he encountered Yugi and his friends. Kaiba! Oh great, any son of Pegasus? Uh uh, I'm afraid we were too late. That's right, believe it or not, my Valentine got to him before we did. She took his soul with some Ori Kalkos thing. Pegasus! Not quite, it's a hologram. Yugi boy! At least I hope it's you that found this room. If you're hearing this, then that can only mean the gentleman who was after my soul were able to uh, capture me. So please listen closely. This is it. It all began when a mysterious man tried to buy out my company. But there's more. This individual possesses an ancient power stronger than any I've seen. And his name is Darts. Who's Darts? He's trying to resurrect the most terrifying beast ever to roam the earth. The Great Leviathan. By draining the souls of man and beast. If his plan works, Darts will have succeeded in unleashing a truly devastating power the likes of which has not been seen for 10,000 years. Time is running out. My cute little duel monsters will soon be gone, along with the rest of the world. Not only you can save the poor creatures that made my game famous. Hey. Okay, Joey versus uh, the dude, I can't remember his name, but... Oh, I think I remember, doesn't like Joey get like, battle armor or something? He like, he uses a card to get armor. Uh, I think I vaguely remember this now. So Joey chased after one of the robbers, Valon. I know that guy. He's the one that took my. Right you are, mate. Oh, isn't he Australian as well? Look, pal. I want my back. Then why chase me? She happens to have a mind of her own, you know? She did. At least she did before you guys brainwashed her. You don't get it, mate. No one was brainwashed. My chose to join our side with her own free will. And do you want to know why? She was sick of taking a back seat while you got all the fame. Then I stepped in and changed all that. You messed with her head. That's what you did. She was one of my best friends. But that last time I saw her, she was saying things that Mai never would have said. Wake up, Wheeler. I led you here to get rid of you for good, because Mai can't be happy with you around. And what does that mean? You're a constant reminder of what her life used to be. Mai wants to forget all that, but as long as you still exist in this world, she'll never be able to forget. So I'm here to erase you for good. Ooh, plus I know that deep down Mai still loves you. I can't have that. So what do you say, Wheeler? Do you have... Do we have ourselves a duel or not? Not that I'm giving you much of a choice. I never back down from a challenge, especially when I'm fighting for a friend. Now let's duel. All right, I'm ready. 
I vaguely remember now, like, I swear, like, Joey gets armor or something. Right, let's go for paper. Hey, And we'll go first. Now, apart from the armor, I don't remember much about this deck, dude. We got Lord of the Red... Oh, Joey gets Red Eye's armor. Oh, dude, I kind of remember now. I don't remember the duel, but I just remember the armor. Red Eye's Black Flare Dragon. Oh, dude, so much, like, there's so much Red Eye support. I just... I forget, dude. <laughs> oh, I forgot half it does. All right, so add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. Okay. Yeah, so let's just get that. I'll be smart. So now we can get the Lord of the Red. Just fin the deck a little bit. And I pot agreed. Alright, got Jinzo as well, okay. Right, uh This card is treated as a normal face up while this card is tre treated as a normal monster while face up on the field. Or in the graveyard, while this card is a normal monster in the field, you can normal summon it to have its effect as a monster. Okay, damage calculations perform evolve in this card. At the end of the battle phase, you can affect damage to your opponent equal to this card. Okay, that's kind of good, but we are going to activate this first. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Alright, get this. Do I want to get rid of Marauding Captain? I don't, if I'm honest. I think, yeah. I want to try and get Jinzo out. So I'm going to get rid of these. And I'm going to set this. What fusions do we have? The magic hammer. Rock hammer's come. I don't remember these, if I'm honest. But we need the the claw of Hermos, don't we? Okay. I feel like we got good hand, uh all she wants is on the field game to attack, okay. I am going to negate this. Don't want you doing anything. Just gonna bam. See ya. <laughs> He's like, okay, what do I do now? Set one card and end turn. Sweet. Time Wizard, sweet as well, and we're just going to get Jinzo out. So we've got something that can negate trap cards, and we've got something that can just stop effects once per turn. This is this is good. This is good. I think we got quite a good setup here. Desk bot. I do not remember them at all. Desk bot. No, I can't remember. What do they do? Uh, machines. Okay, two or more machine type monsters are special on at the same time while the card is in your graveyard. Okay. Okay, machine dupe. Uh, can I destroy the monster at least? Will machine dupe still... They, no, but the effects still go off because there's no monster. Yeah, good. Haha! <laughs> Oh, dude, I feel kind of mean there. I feel really mean. And now we win. <laughs> that was actually kind of mean. Is that, this is exactly game, isn't it? 5,600, nice. Dude, Lord of the Red is actually not bad. Like, I don't remember this card. I I I've never owned this card 100% of my life. I don't remember it. But... It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> Alright. Oh, dude. That's so good. Oh, wasn't it wasn't exactly game, it was actually kind of over. My math was off. You did it, you won. Goodbye. <laughs> it's my fault. Don't be silly, Mai. I caused my own downfall. I thought if I won, I could make you forget about Joey Wheeler. But now I understand why he meant so much to you. The guy's got heart. Look what the Oracalcos dragged in. My former employee. 
Now it's Miss Valentine's turn to send me a soul. Or to give up her own. <laughs> How could he do this? Valentine's the one who told me I have to do it for myself. He turns around and fights you to protect me? How pathetic. He deserved this. Hold on. Valon may, may have annoyed me, but no one deserves to have their soul taken away and then held captive by some power-hungry psychopath. I don't care who they are. <laughs> you know what, Mai? As long as that Orocalcos thing has control over your mind, I'll never be able to take talk sense into you. As a matter of fact, the only way I can save you at this point is to do you. Try saving yourself. I'm doing just fine without your help. Didn't you learn? If you cramp my style, you end up in a world of hurt. I understand everything now, Mai. You forgot what Dolan's all about. So I'm here to remind you about the heart of the cards. Ah, if you think you're going to teach me a lesson about dual monsters, you're wasting your time. The Seal of Orichalcos. Exhausted from his last duel with Valon, Jerry was unable to finish the duel. Congratulations, you win. I'm too exhausted to finish. You're wrong. I never attacked. You didn't lose the duel. I won't let the Orichalcos take you away, Joey. It's too late for that. I already lost the duel. So there's no turning back. I'm just glad that if one of us had to lose our soul, it didn't have to be you, Mai. Joey, no! My broke free of Data's influence over her, but Joey's soul was captured by the Orichalco, so I don't remember this. How can I be so selfish? You're the closest friend I ever had, and how do I repay you? By leaving you for a madman who promised me a power? Make him regret the day you met my Valentine. No way! What happened? He lost the duel. Wait, does that mean. Yes. His soul belongs to Darts now. I thought it was Joey who, like. Pushed Yugi out the way. Oh no, it was the um, it was little Yugi that saved big Yugi, wasn't it? That was it. I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, we got four duels left. Four duels left, dude. And then we are good. Right. I think we're gonna end this part right here. And oh no, three duels left. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, we end this uh, episode right here. Next episode, we're gonna finish off the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh by taking on Raphael, then Darts. And then Yugi vs. Yummy. Yeah, this is going to be so good, man. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.